Good evening. I want to convey my deep and profound appreciation to the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics for electing me an honorary fellow. I can't help feel that there are many more deserving of this recognition, but none more honored. I wish that I could be with you tonight so that I could thank you in person and also congratulate Paul Nielsen and Arnie Aldrich on their well-deserved awards. To be counted among the ranks of aerospace legends, including people like Orville Wright, is a little incredible and certainly humbling. We at Lockheed Martin have a special connection with Mr. Wright. 100 years ago, he encouraged a young pilot with bold ideas about airframe designs to turn those ideas into reality. That pilot rented space in a church to build his first airplane. It was made of bamboo and silk and a vision. That young pilot was Glen L. Martin and that church was the first Lockheed Martin factory floor. Never hurts to have a little faith. Over the past century, our aerospace industry has led the world, rising to some of our nation's greatest technological and security challenges. We have this institute and its members to thank for that. AIAA members are leaders in driving collaboration and innovation, publishing game-changing research, advancing aerospace education, and inspiring new generations of engineers and scientists. I am tremendously proud of the nearly 30-year partnership Lockheed Martin has shared with AIAA and the involvement of our employees in technical and program committees and on the board of directors. It's a partnership that works and one we're proud to carry forward. Let me close by congratulating each of the 2012 fellows being recognized here tonight, including my dear colleagues, Mary Snitch, and Ralph Heath, as well as the winners of the Distinguished Spotlight Awards. Again, thank you for this tremendous honor and for your continuing efforts to advance the field of aerospace in support of our nation.